guys, welcome to Astra Nier. I'm super excited for this game. I played it a ton back when it was an alpha, and now, finally, the full version is out. Well, technically this video is going up two days before it comes out, but you get the idea. Link down below if you want to check it out. So if you don't know what Astroneer is, guys, it is a space survival exploration game. You, uh, you start off on this planet right here, which is supposed to be like Earth. And then there are other planets floating around up there somewhere. There's one right there, and there's another one behind it. Um, you gotta build a spaceship, go to other planets, get materials, do research, all that good stuff. You got this thing here that tells you all the stuff you can research. I don't have any uh, bites right now, I got 29 bites, so I gotta get research, get new things, eventually build myself a spaceship and go somewhere else because each planet has different resources on it, so you do need to move around if you wanna get all this stuff. And now that the full version is out, there's also some sort of like exploration story as well. I only put like an hour or so in to this game earlier, but I found something really cool. And I know what we're gonna do today. I really like the way base building works in this game. So you start off with this shelter right here and you got these little plugs and you build platforms and you plug them in and then they get power and then you can build stuff. So I got a medium printer here. I got a small printer over here. And I also planted this uh, toxic um, plant that I found in the, in the caves. I didn't mean to plant it, okay? I accidentally planted it. Now I gotta clean, no, don't put your thumb up to me. That's not what I wanted. Gotta get rid of it. There we go. It hurts a little bit, but that's okay. I was hoping it would maybe give me some seeds, but no. I can make this guy do the chicken dance, which I think is pretty nice. I, it looks really awkward if you do it with a gun in your hand, so maybe put that down. Try again. There you go. That's, that's better. All right, so so far I have a smelting furnace, I have the two printers, and I have this little buggy over here. Uh, I got some copper. This is all aluminum. I guess I'll pop that in. I need to build myself another one of these platforms because I have a solar panel that I found when I was running around and I can't put it anywhere. Well, yes I can. I'm not using my printer right now. Just put it there. There we go. You can also use organic and a generator. Uh, where did the generator go? Is that on my back? No, it's on my buggy, of course, because uh, the buggy needs power. So if you just hit F, turns on the generator, those things fill up and then you turn it off again and you're good to go. So you can get a lot of juice out of this thing. Plus, there's organic everywhere, so it's not a big deal. All right, so what I want to do, guys, is hop in my buggy now, and hey, come on, what's going on here? I can't drive my buggy. It has full power. Don't do this to me. Oh, yeah, now it works. Great. I think what I like most about this game is just how chill it is. There's no creatures or anything running around trying to kill you. You can get killed by plants, but I mean, come on, who dies from a plant? Honestly, I have died way too many times from plants in this game. What is in here? What is that? Oh, carbon and quartz and glass. Hmm, okie dokie. And this is a medium storage, popping right out of the ground. Put that in my hands. <laughs> Just gonna walk around with it. I'm gonna leave you here, because I, uh, I don't even know where I am. I should have followed the tethers, but I didn't. I'll just go around this big hill. I'll find out where I'm going. Oh, jeez. Come on. Did I really do this already? <laughs> Don't worry, it's easy to flip it back over again, see? Haha, there she is. So guys, I don't know what this is because I've never seen it before until the full version of the game, but look at that giant thing over there. It's some sort of like giant solar apparatus. Here's the cool thing. Okay, it's already pretty cool, but here's the extra cool thing. So there's these three triangles here and each one has a cable plug coming from it. So I'm assuming that means this thing generates power, but I could be wrong. Maybe you have to feed it power, but I'm hoping this is actually some sort of solar array and I can uh, use it to build a base. So I'm gonna try and do that. I guess I can probably, um, if I just print, like maybe a printer, I don't have a, I don't have compound right now. If I print a printer and plug it in, I'll know if it works or not. There's compound everywhere, guys. Don't worry about it. Look, we're right next to this thing, and there's a whole field of it. So let me just grab a couple of those. My fingers are crossed, guys, because if this doesn't generate power, then I need to give it power, and that's not as fun. Small printer. Boom. Plug that shit in. Ooh, what's that? What did you do? What's happening? Ah. Uh. Okay. I like the noises it makes. Those are pretty cool, but uh, what does it mean? What does it do? Maybe I gotta put a generator there. I'll see if that does anything different because, you know, the cable is lighting up red, which means there's some sort of issue. Is this what you want? Huh? Do you want a generator? I'll give you a generator. 
Um, okay, lighting up red. Cool, let's go ahead and grab some organic. And maybe we'll just place that here. Ooh, look at that. So it's showing you how much power it needs. Okay, so I won't be building a base here, apparently. Kind of sad, but okay. What I will do is plug enough stuff in to get this thing going. It looks to me like maybe if you just, uh, if you just put like two generators on each one, that should be enough power for something to happen. Okay, so this is something new in the full version of the game, guys. It is called the Exodynamics Research Aid. Insert appropriate resource to unlock. Now I saw one of these things in a cave before and I had to put laterite in it. And that was the thing that was right next to it. So maybe it's just compound? You never know. Nope, that's not it. It's probably like aluminum or copper or something like that. Okay, let's go back over. I got enough stuff now, guys. I think I can um, fire this baby up. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six generators. I think that's enough. Pretty sure that should do it. There's one, two. I don't know what's happening, man, but I'm so excited. Three, four, five. Oh. Ooh, what are you doing? What are you doing, buddy? A nice slow build up here, guys. Very spooky. Very sci-fi-ish. Reminds me of the monolith from 2001 A Space Odyssey or something. What are you doing? Ooh, baby! Now what? What is... Oh, odd stone. I don't want to do anything with that. It's going to hurt me or something. I got to get a picture next to it first. Here we go. And yeah, baby, it's me and the stone. <laughs> oh, I'm suffocating. Oh, that's no fun. <laughs> well, at least I can get back out. I was afraid for a second. This was some sort of like invisible, invisible field or whatever. I'm going to gaze at this stone now, guys. Wish me luck. Oh, what is... What? Dim node, interior elevation, origin node, surface elevation two, four, six, three. Can I, uh, can I stop? I'll click on this one. No, this one. What am I, what am I doing? I can't do anything. Oh, what's it? Okay, hold on. I'm gonna just uh, not suffocate for one second. Maybe I could just make some tethers or something. You think maybe that'd be a good idea? Cause it seems like I'm having a real tough time breathing over here. Okay, apparently the tethers don't work with the vehicle. Now, what the hell am I supposed to do with this odd stone? I don't know what this is. Oh, wait. Is this a map of the planet? Huh. Okay, you know, I think there are more of these things around. Because, hold on a second. Let me take a look. There's something coming from the top of this one, or at least there was, like some sort of beam coming out of it. So I guess what I gotta do is find the other ones, activate them all with my power, and then something is gonna happen. All right. I guess that's part of the story here. I am very intrigued now. I wasn't expecting this to happen. This is freaky. I thought I was gonna be able to build a base with a bunch of energy or something. That would have been cool, but I think this is cool too. Well, I'll just pack up my six generators and get the hell out of here if you don't mind. Uh, my backpack is full. I guess I could just leave them here until later. I got some important stuff on me I don't want to get rid of. Uh, I also got one tether. Okay, well, I will take one generator with me, perhaps. Whatever, man. Generators are made from one compound. Compound is super easy to get. I think I'm gonna go back to my place now, and uh, I'll have a look, see if I can find any more of those things as well. All right, I think my uh, next goal should be to go get some more stuff. Go do a little bit of cave exploring, try and get some research. There's a lot more ways to get research in this than there were before it was just putting things in the research chamber and doing it that way. But now you can find little bits and pieces everywhere. And also they got those, you know, research units. So where is my cave? I wish I knew where any of my stuff was and I can't build a beacon because I don't have enough research. Let me hop in and drive around. Okay, this is my cave. I got some tethers on me. No, I don't. And I don't have any compound, but there's probably some in the cave. This is uh, an all new terrain generation system as well for people who have uh, seen this game or played it yourself before. 
It's a lot cooler. The caves in this game are just ridiculous, guys. Look at this. I don't know where to go. I've gotten lost so many times and end up suffocating because I'll like go around a corner and I won't know which corner I went around. And I'll try and get back and I won't be able to find my tethers and then bam, I'm dead. Maintain desired power input to unlock. Oh, this one's different. Check that out. I thought you were gonna have to put a thing in it, but no, you just gotta, you just gotta take this plug right here and plug it into something. Listen, dude, I just made six generators so I could turn on that uh, giant thing. I'm no stranger to this. Not enough power, eh? That's what I suspected. There's so much stuff in this cave, look at that! We got a whole bunch of aluminum here, and we got zinc, and we got compound. Let me make some more generators. Take these mushrooms so I can power the generators. The good news is that if you put a generator on your back, you can put the organic on the generator while it's on your back, so it does save some space. There's nothing else you can do that with in the game as far as I know. Plug that in, turn that on, and bam. Okay, see, we're good. Sonic, what, what are you, geez, just stop, stop it, stop it. Let's see how this does. 315, that wasn't even worth it, man. Jesus, spent forever doing that when I could have walked around and picked up a half a dozen little nubs off rocks. All right, guys, I gotta go down in this cave because it looks huge. Okay, yeah, it definitely is huge, and I see uh, some plants over here that I haven't seen before. Just wondering how to get down there without killing myself. Hey, it's gotta smooth it out. Squawn down. Just make a big old rant. Oh, hey, are you blowing your your stink at me, bro? Don't you dare do that to you. Oh shit. Okay. Well, he's dead. That was easy enough. The terrain in this game is fully deformable, which is a lot of fun. You can build ramps, and you can actually like slide down them and stuff. There's a a sliding mechanic. Look at that. Yeah. So you can, uh, you can make some pretty fun stuff, I gotta say. Oh, I just realized what zinc is good for in this game. That's what you need to make the, the mods with for your gun. So, you can definitely use that later. What do I got here? Is it zinc and zinc? Okay, that's all zinc, so I got lots of zinc. I don't have any more tethers, but I wanna keep exploring. All right, buddy, here you go. Is this what you wanted? It is what you wanted! Wow, well maybe they're all like that. Maybe I could just put a ladder right in there. Get the, jeez! Um. 427, pretty good, pretty good. I now have 2,000 bytes, so I can make some, I can uh, research some new stuff. Let's get back to the base, huh? Maybe I could take some research with me, put it in my hands and walk around. Yeah, okay. Oh, what, really? There's a research thing here that looks just like this one? I didn't have to carry this all the way out of the cave. I don't even have a research thing yet, but I'm pretty sure it's uh, already unlocked, so maybe I'll make one. I just love the way things pop out of the boxes. It's great. There's also a thing in the game now where you put it on an object and it repackages it so you can take it somewhere else, which is super helpful. Not right now, of course, but it will be later. Uh, so let's go ahead and take that research now. Pop it in the thing. Turn it on, maybe? Perhaps? 14 bytes per minute. That is really slow. So I think what I should do now is go ahead and take my generators and head out in search of another one of those crazy big solar looking things that aren't actually solar panels, I guess. I mean, if they were, they wouldn't need my power, would they? Okay, would you look at that, guys? Another, oh, wow. I love the new terrain in this one. Sometimes it's just absolutely crazy. What is that, debris down there or something? Okay, well, how about we not die? Cause that'd be, that'd be fun. It'd be fun to not die, I mean, I'm not saying it would be fun to die. Obviously, if it was, I wouldn't be trying not to. So this should be one of the six nodes, right? I did uh, node two earlier? We gotta get that thing out first, or we're not gonna be able to find out. Okay, we've activated mysterious node number two. So if I gaze at the odd stone, I see node three. Oh, what did I? What am I doing? What is happening? Oh! This is some weird stuff. Did you just teleport me? I don't think I needed to be, ow, teleported. But, also I kinda did. Also, I kinda did because I literally can't breathe, bro. Bring me back, thank you. <laughs> I'm suffocating! I'm suffocating right now, don't do this to me! Oh, why do you have to teleport me so slow? Run, 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 run! I'm okay, everything's- No, I'm not! No! No, I died! I died and fell on the ground! That was fun, that was great. So, um... They teleport you. That's- that's what I know so far. <laughs> 
There's probably more to it than that, guys. I'm assuming not only do they teleport you, but once you get them all, then you can um, activate some sort of thing. Well, anyway, guys, we activated two nodes, so we're getting somewhere. Unfortunately, I lost my vehicle because it's way over there somewhere. So the only way to get back to where I was is to build another vehicle or maybe just make a whole lot of tethers and walk there. But I don't want to walk anywhere, okay? I'm a pretty lazy guy. All right, guys, I'm going to end this video here. If you want to see some more Ashenir, please let me know down below in the comments. I'd love to play some more for you. I want to know what's going to happen. I want to know what's going on with all these nodes, and I'm sure once you go to the other planets, there's probably going to be some weird stuff there, too. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.